Number 28. On a dry road, a car with good tires may be able to brake with a constant deceleration of 4.92 meters per square second. Letter A. How long does such a car initially traveling at 24.6 meters per second take to stop? Letter B. How far does it travel in this time? Letter C. Graph X versus T and V versus T for the deceleration. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to gather the information. So we know that the acceleration is equal to 4.92 meters per square second. However, we know that it is a deceleration, so the, we have to add a minus sign over here. We also know that the initial speed of the car, so the initial speed VO, let's call it VO, is equal to 24 Point six meters per second and we know that we want the car to stop so the final speed is equal to zero right the final speed is equal to zero let's say that the initial position is zero as well so it's easier to do the calculations so in this case this is a, a problem of constant acceleration and the acceleration is constant there are three different equations that we can use those equations are x equals to XO plus VOT plus AT squared over 2. We can also use V equals to VO plus AT and we can use V squared equal to VO squared plus 2 times A delta X. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant and only when the acceleration is constant. So the trick here is that you circle the things that you don't know so it's easier to see what you have to do next. For example, we know the initial position, we don't know the final position, we know the initial speed, we don't know the time it takes to stop, so we know the acceleration and we don't know t. We know the final and the initial speeds, we know the acceleration and we don't know the value of t. We know V, V, O, the acceleration, and delta X. We don't know because we don't know the final position. Okay, so now we can solve the, the problem over here. How long does such a car initially traveling at 24.6 meters per second takes to stop? Okay, so we want to find T in those equations. So just look at those equations and think which one would give us T. So this equation over here, the first one have T, however it has T and X that we don't know. So we cannot initially solve this equation over here. However, the, first, however the, 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 the second equation have T and the only thing that we don't know in this equation is the value of T. So we can just isolate T and find its value. And that's exactly what we are going to do. So V equals to VO plus AT. So T is equal to V minus VO over A. The final speed is zero. The initial speed is 24.6. And just divide by the acceleration, it's minus 4.92. So if you do this equation over here, you would find 5. Five, five, five seconds. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we want, we want to find how far does it travel in this time. So we want to find the value of X. So since we know the value of T, we could use this equation, but I'm going to use the third equation just, just because of reasons. You could use the first one or the third one. It doesn't matter. So V squared is equal to VO squared plus 2 times a delta x so delta x is equal to v squared minus v o squared divided by 2 times a the final speed is 0 the initial speed is 24.6 don't forget to square it divided by 2 times the acceleration which is minus 4.92 and this gives us 61.5 Meter. So that's the answer of letter B. Letter C, graph X versus T and V versus T for the deceleration. Okay, so let's start with the position in function of time. So this is T 
in seconds. This is x in meters. So we, we only had, we just need two different points in this case over here. So we know that when t is equal to zero, the position is zero, right? Because x zero is zero. And we know that when t is equal to five seconds, the car stops and the position where the car stops is 61.5 meters. So let's say that this is 61.5. So we have those two points over here. So we just have to connect those two points. However, don't draw a straight line because it is a second degree equation. So it should be a parabola, something like this or something like this. And in this case, since the speed is greater uh, when the movement starts and the speed is zero when the movement stops, so the position should increase really quickly in the beginning of the movement and then increase really slowly at the end of the movement. So our line should be something like this. So you could ask me, where is the parabola? The parabola, you just have to continue to draw over here. However, this movement doesn't happen because the car stops at this point over here. So this is our graph. This blue line is our graph. So now we have to draw V versus T. So let's say this is T in seconds. This is V in meters per second. And we also have two different points and we only need two different points. So let's see, when t is equal to zero, the speed is this one over here. So we know that when t is equal to zero, the speed is 24.6. And we know that when t is equal to five, the speed is zero. So we have those two different points. And in this case, it is a straight line because it is a first degree equation. So how do we know it is a first degree equation? So look at this. This is the function of the position, which is a second degree equation. See the two over here. And this is the function of the speed. It's a first degree equation. See the one over here. So this is our graph and that's it.